In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to perform visual comparison testing or how to perform visual testing in Playwright. So what does this mean, visual comparison or visual testing? So basically, let's say for example, we have opened a web page and we will capture the screenshot of that particular web page and that will be saved as a reference screenshot for the future execution. And whenever we second time we are trying to run the test and that will capture the actual page screenshot and it will compare with the expected reference screenshot. So basically it is a comparison of the two screenshots. If there is a difference, we will get to know like what is the difference between the actual and the expected screenshots. So let's go to the VS code and let's see how to perform the visual comparison testing in the playwright. So here I will quickly create a one spec file. So here, here I will give the spec file name as visual testing dot spec dot js. That's it. So here I will go to the one of the test. Simply I will take the copy of this test and I'll come back to the visual testing dot spec file. So here I will keep only the skeleton of the playwright test. So that's it. Now I will update the test name as visual comparison testing in playwright. So that's it guys. Now what I will do is so simply I will navigate to the web page here. Now let's discuss what is the scenario we are going to automate it. So we will open the github.com slash login page. So we will open this particular page and we will capture the snapshot of this particular page and we will keep it and whenever we execute it second time or third time and so on. So it basically compares the actual screenshot with the expected snapshot screenshot. So simply I will copy this particular URL and after that we will take the snapshot of this current page and here I am adding the URL inside the go to method. So firstly we have navigated to the this URL. Now so here I will give the await dot page dot so here I'll say wait for timeout. So here I'll give the some 3000 milliseconds. That's it guys. Now to take the screenshot or to take the snapshot very first time when you are writing the automation test. So simply you need to use the await keyword followed by you need to use the expect function here. Inside this you need to pass the page object and followed by you need to call to the one function called to have screenshot and inside this we have to give the snapshot screenshot reference name so here i'm giving snapshot screenshot name as github page dot png that's it guys so simply i will save the test and i will run it and if you see here under the tests folder right now there is no reference created and if i run this test it will create the one snapshot folder inside that we will be finding the one png format screenshot of the current web page now now i will run the playwright test And if you see here guys, so our test will get failed very first time and it says that a snapshot does not exist at this location. So this is the expected failure guys. When you are writing the or when you are implementing the script very first time, you will get this exception. So you can ignore it. So simply you can delete this one. And now if you observe on the left side, so there is a folder created called visual testing.spec.js hyphen snapshots inside this folder. So there is a screenshot created with .png format. If you see here, so this particular name what we have given and followed by that the browser name and followed by that based on your number of operating systems it has given the Win32. So 
if you look at the folder name also this is the spec file name followed by the snapshots right so now the snapshot is present here and if i rerun the same test this time it will perfectly work fine so our test will get passed there will be no issues and if you see here our test is working fine and our test is getting passed right so now what i will do is so i will go to the this login page and simply i will click on this username and i will enter something in this username field then there will be a, some difference in the actual web page actual screenshot and the expected screenshot then our test will then our test case will get fail so here i will use the id of the web element so simply i will press control f and here i'll press the hash and followed by the id value so i have written a simple css selector now we are able to identify the username text box and here i will use the await keyword followed by page object dot so here i'll say dot locator and inside the inside the locator i will add the css selector value firstly i will click on the username text box and after that i will enter some data inside the text box so here i'll say fill method and here i'll just write the some text inside the text box as tester stock that's it guys so whatever the image we have captured inside the snapshot right so this image does not have the entered data screenshot here right so this time our test will get failed so that is the expected failure so basically we are performing the two images comparison using the playwright tool so that's it guys now i will run the test now sorry guys so what we have done is just we have written the locator and we have performed the action but we haven't compared it after that right so if you see here guys so after writing some data into the text field and we have to again verify this particular image right so simply i will take the same line of code that's a line number nine and i'll paste it after entering something in inside the text box right so in the line number nine we are comparing the two images and in the line number 14 we are comparing the two images so this is the before actions two images comparison and in the similar way here i'll say so this is the after action Two images comparison right so that's it guys now i will execute the test once again so this time so it will get failed our test will get failed in the line number 14 so when we are trying to compare the two images in the second time so if you see here guys the error is very much clear so screenshot comparison got failed right now let's open the report so here i will go to the index.html report and I will open the .html file. And if you see here, guys, so these are some details about the screenshot, sorry, failure. And here you can see that where exactly it has got failed. And if you see here, guys, so there is another section got added, image mismatch. If I scroll down a little bit, so we have the screenshot section and also we have the traces section. But if you see here, so we have the additional section got added when you are comparing the two images by using playwright so that section name is image mismatch colon you can find the screenshot name and this is the difference guys so this is the actual image and this is the expected image and if you see the difference image so only the text what we have entered in the web page is only the difference right so this is how you can compare the two images in the playwright automation tool